We're at DVD 2018 and I'm speaking with Mike Mullen, Managing Director, Jankel. Mike, would you be kind enough to bring us up to speed with some recent Jankel developments and maybe outline to us the content of the press releases that came out to coincide with the show? Yes, absolutely, sure. Um, I mean, as you know, over the last two, three years, our main focus has been on the development of FOX for our contract for the uh, Belgian Ministry of Defence. So that contract is now coming towards its closing stages, so the final stages of production. We have a, the last few vehicles to deliver on that programme now. Most of the product is already in Belgium. Uh, it's, we've just gone through the training event, so the operator training and the maintenance and service training on that, and the vehicles will be deployed over the next few months by the customer. So a great program for us uh, coming to conclusion, if you like. Um, but really getting the Fox product now out with a with a real um, user um, that knows what it's doing with it. So that's what we've been doing on that program. The second program that we've been working on uh, with the Belgians is the LTTV program. That's in its early days. So we've been running with that now for about six months or so. Uh, we're running through the engineering breakdown of what the content is at the moment and just starting to get into what the product is going to be and working with the customer to make sure the specification is right on that. That's going to take us about another year or so and then into testing and production on that vehicle doesn't really start till, till the, towards the end of 2020. So quite busy in that area. And, and that's a Unimog based platform? That's a Unimog based platform. It's basically a Fox on steroids. So it's a support vehicle for Fox. Um, so it's similar configuration with a ring mount, uh, troops in the back, etc. as the support to Fox, but on, on the Unimog platform, yeah, you're correct. So what we've been doing along with that on the, um, from the Mercedes-Benz side who we're using for Unimog, we've released in the press recently, we now are an approved converter for Mercedes-Benz. So the LTTV program is the first project that we're, we're doing using using their vehicles, but there are another a number of other programs that we're currently looking at where we'll be utilizing the Mercedes-Benz product. The advantage for us there is that we get the full support and full backing from Mercedes-Benz of the vehicles when they go into service. And it's the, the likelihood of us changing mechanical systems is much lower. So if you take the Toyota product that, we, that we've used in the past and tend to use, we, we're changing things like suspension upgrades, power upgrades, and so on and so forth. With the Mercedes product, it's likely to stay as a Mercedes product underneath. Our skill is, is putting the integration of what the customer wants on top of it. So that's a, a big uh, change for us and a, and a great move forward. Increasing really our portfolio and our capability uh, and capacity as a converter of commercially available vehicles for military use, which is what our core business is really about. That's what we've been focusing on. In line with that, the other product that we're releasing here is the uh, 6x6. Um, tie up that we've done with NSV in Australia. The NSV have been producing 6x6 vehicles for mining now for some years so what, what we like to do and have done in the past is use a robust solution that's already been through development has got solid durability to it so by working together with NSV we're taking a product that has already been through that uh, durability testing etc. What we're now doing is looking at how do we apply that again for a military use rather than a civilian or commercial use and that gives us a capability of expanding our Fox range so as we've discussed in the past Sean we have Fox uh, LRPV we have Fox RRV what we'll now be doing is putting Fox onto the 6x6 platform as well to increase that capability. And, and, and if I understand correctly, the, the French have acquired some Fox vehicles? You're, you're correct. The, the vehicles that the French are using are the LRPV vehicles are back to the traditional uh, base platform that we originally started with Fox on. Um, so we have already supplied two vehicles through our partnership with a company called Technum in France. Uh, the French MOD wanted the product produced in France. Um, so we've been working together with Technum now for two or three years on LC200 armoured programmes. So it was a natural progression for us to work with them on Fox. So two vehicles have been produced already in France. Uh, they're now on trials with the uh, French military just going through the final test and the plan is to deliver another 30 vehicles by the end of the year. 
manufactured in France by tech that under license from us from our product. And again, this is an area that we're looking at. We, we have, we're very aware that, that we have customers globally that want product manufactured on, in, 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 their, in their country, basically. So we're happy to partner with people globally to license our product to them, should that be a necessity in, in that market. And you're also showing a, um, an armoured Land Cruiser at the show? Yes, uh, we have the armoured Land Cruiser here. It's our, it's our core product, if you like. The, 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 the Land Cruiser now we've been producing in this configuration for probably about what, six, seven years. Um, uh, hot form technology is key to us on, on, on this product. So it, it's, uh, it's been slowly developed as we've been going on, but really just, just uh, uh, a slow development of the product rather than a redesign of what we've had before. But that's here again, just showing uh, that we're still producing that vehicle. Again, produced here in the UK by us in our facility in Rustington, where we've expanded our UK capability as well to, to make sure that we can offer to the UK uh, Ministry of Defence that capability internally, which is really important to us, but also in our facility in Jordan still, and also our facility in the US. So it's a global product for us. Uh, and you, you say your facility in Jordan, that's with Jordan Light Vehicle Manufacturing? That's correct, Jordan Light Vehicle Manufacturing, the, the relationship is with CADB that we have and the, the company that we have the joint venture with is Jordan, Jordan Light Vehicle Manufacturing, who are producing now about, um, I mean their capability has expanded, which we, we've been part of the growth of their success, they produce about 20-30% uh, about of their product is for Jankel, so most of our standard um, Toyota LC200 type product we produce through our dream facility. Excellent, thank you very much indeed.